Hello, my name is Josh Beck. I'm a technology teacher in San Antonio, Texas. Um, this particular lesson uh, over the blender, we're just going to create some custom faces, some custom edges. Uh, we're going to create a couple of separate objects. And then in the next lesson, we're going to talk about um, taking those objects and uh, joining them together into one neat object. So uh, some of the techniques and tools um, that I'm going to demonstrate here can be used in all kinds of different situations. Um, just sort of working through this and trying some of the things that I demonstrate here will really help you get comfortable with the interface. Um, all right, so in all of the other tutorials that I've put together, uh, we did a, a long series on building a bridge, which is something that you might want to check out. All the objects that we created were created through the add and then mesh dialog, okay? So we would add a plane or we'd add a cube or a circle, and all of these were sort of pre- um, fabricated objects that the blender provides you that are you know uniform um, and you know they're sized up you know you get a perfect cube you get a perfect circle and these things are, are very handy and you're gonna find you use them a lot but sometimes you're gonna want to create your own shapes your own edges or your own faces to kind of customize things so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete the cube all right by hitting delete um, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go to add mesh and we're just gonna add a plane and uh, you want to make sure that you're in vertice select mode for this. All right, so I'm in vertice select mode. And I'm going to shift and I'm going to right click one edge, which then leaves three other edges selected. Okay, I'm going to hit the delete button. And it's going to ask me, what do you want to erase? And I'm going to say, I want to erase each one of these vertices, and the vertices are the points. Okay, and that's going to leave me with one point left. All right, so I'm going to right click on that point that's left over. And if I wanted to grab that and move it, I could hit the G key and I could move it around. Or another option would be to hit the G key, hold down the control button, and it would snap perfectly um, along the grid. You can see that it's snapping perfectly there to each point on the grid. All right. Or um, another option to move things very specifically in the Blender is if you hit the N key, um, that's N as in Nancy, you get a box over here that says Transform Properties. Okay. And this transform properties, uh, it allows you to put things very specifically where you want them. You can rotate objects and things like that. In this case, you can see our vertex is negative 1 and 0. Uh, negative 1, 1, and 0. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to change each of these values. So vertex x is 0. Uh, we're going to change vertex y to 0. And uh, vertex z is already 0. Um, so the N dialog for transform properties allows you to move things around and get them where you want them. Uh, very specifically, it's it's very handy in certain situations when you want things to, and we'll use it again later. All right, and you can see that by using my transform properties and setting everything to zero, we've got our green line and our red line. Our vertice is positioned exactly on the origin, okay, which is what we want. All right, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that vertice and I'm going to hit Shift D. There are lots of different ways you can do this. Um, I'm going to hit Shift D and I'm going to duplicate the vertice, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull it over just so it's to the right of, you know, point one over here. All right. But I want it to be positioned exactly on the line. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull up my uh, transform properties by hitting N on the keyboard. And you can see, um, let's take a look and see here. It's selected. Okay, gotcha. Um, so if I take vertex X, okay, and I'm going to change it to point 0.1 exactly. All right. There we go. And by doing that, I've taken that vertex and I've placed it exactly on the line. You can see my other two parameters. It's not quite perfectly, is it? Because it's point zero zero 0.001. So I'm going to change this one here to 0 just, uh, to, keep it, just to keep it exact, um, exactly where I want it. It was just a little bit off. All right, so now I've got it exactly on the point where I want it, one, zero, zero. Okay, so I've got two vertices. Both are right there and right there. I'm going to shift, and I'm going to right-click both at the same time. And in order to create an, an edge or a face, you just hit the F button on the keyboard, F, and uh, it created an edge, okay? And you can see that by selecting it and deselecting it, we've created an edge between those two points. So you can duplicate a vertice and then hit F, and it's going to create an edge 
between those two vertices that have been selected. All right, um, edges are made up of vertices and uh, faces are made up of edges. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to kick it into edge select mode. And I'm going to select that edge. I'm going to hit Shift D and I'm going to slide it up. All right, and I'm going to hit Shift right click. And now I've got both of my edges selected. Once again, I can hit F. All right, and it's going to create um, it's going to create a face based on the two edges that I have selected. So now that I, now I've created a plane, when all I had to begin with was a vertice. All right, um, so I'm going to go into side view by hitting three. All right, and you can see that it's up and down. All right, um, one of the things that we uh, did in a previous lesson is we used the extrude. I hit E. Oops, excuse me. I hit E, and I chose you know you can choose region, and you can extrude outward. All right. A quick shortcut for that is instead of hitting E and extruding, you can hit Control Left Click, and it will automatically extrude your shape. Okay. I'm gonna grab it and just pull it down and straighten it out slightly. Okay. Um, so instead of hitting E, you can just hold down the Control button, and it's going to extrude whatever you have selected. All right. So here I have this box that I have created when all I had to begin with was a, uh, a vertice, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna select the entire box. I'm going to hit Shift D, and I'm going to pull it out like that. Okay, so now I've created two custom shapes um, by duplicating and uh, you know extruding and using the F key with uh, either vertices or edges selected. All right, so if I uh, hit Tab and I go into Object Mode, you can see that these two are both considered to be one object. Okay. Um, what we want is eventually we want them to be one object, but in order to work with them and to get them joined up nicely, we're going to separate them out. And in order to do that, um, in edit mode, you make sure that everything is selected, okay? And if you've got two separate, um, everything that's separated here is going to be separated out into separate objects because these two are not touching, it's going to apply. I'm going to hit P, and it's going to say, okay, separate selected or all loose parts. And by going to all loose parts, when I hit P in edit mode, now when I go into object mode, I can select these two objects independently. Okay. Um, in the next lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to take these two cubes, we're going to join them up perfectly, and we're going to make them a single object where uh, we don't have any duplicate vertices or anything like that. So um, that's it for this lesson. Um, it's just a matter of taking a vertice, placing it on the center, uh, duplicating that vertice, hitting F to make an edge, duplicating the edge, hitting F to make a face, um, extruding that face outward to make a shape, and then duplicating the shape. Once you've got two shapes, um, you can hit P, all loose parts, in edit mode, and you will have two independently selectable objects. All right, so that concludes this tutorial, and uh, I'll have the follow-up lesson online shortly. Thank you.